guys open up for questions. John Derrick's just pretty honest about him needing to change his mindset and even put more work in. It's how encouraging is it when a player knows that himself that he has to do those things? Well, I think it's really important. Um, you know, it was good to see him get in the other day. Uh, did some good things. I know he had a couple turnovers and didn't make a shot, but um, he really fed the post well. Uh, it's hard being that guy um, when you're 11th, 12th guy. Uh, where coach tells him is be ready. You never know when your your turn, when it's going to be your turn. Both he and Dominique. Uh, Dominique stepped up uh, the last game that he played and played well. Um, just reiterating to Derek that you got to make sure you keep putting the extra work in, uh, bide your time, and know that when we look down the bench and we need you, you got to be ready to go. Cal said he had not seen Dominic, but he assumed he was okay, so he's good to go today as far as you know. I haven't seen him yet today. Uh, players were off yesterday. Um, I did see him at breakfast, but uh, really didn't talk to him, made sure he was there. Um, and then we practiced later on this evening. Willis described it said he'd sort of fallen out with the game. Um, could you could you sense that in, at some point in the season I, that he had maybe zoned out a little bit? He said he was one of the first one to leave after practice. You know that he had just he had to get that back. You, you have to get that edge back. I mean that's that's his personal opinion. I mean, you know we're working with all our guys to to make sure that uh, they get better individually. Uh, we've taken a lot of time, uh, really over the past two months. Um, whether it be individual work, but really working on their skill work. And I think you're starting to see it paying off for a lot of guys, um, whether it be shooting the ball or shooting free throws better, or handling the ball better, um, more offensive things that we're working with the skill. And, uh, you know, I think, it's, I think it's starting to come to light. Was the Willis you saw in the Bahamas a guy that would, would deserve minutes on this team? And he was really playing with some confidence down there. Well, I mean, that was the best thing that happened for him. Uh, you know, with Willie not playing down there, it sort of put him into that role, and it was good to see. Uh, that was a little bit more uh, freewheeling type of basketball, which he's really good because of his athleticism, the way he can pass the ball. Um, you know, it, it's, it's hard. Uh, but we, we're working with everybody, and uh, we'll continue to work with him. and, and uh, It'll, 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 come, it'll come to him, that's for sure. Was Kel saying that, that he didn't expect Devin Booker to be the kind of defensive player he's been? What specifically did he do that maybe he didn't do what he got here? You, did you see him in the Bahamas? <laughs> um, he surprised us defensively. Um, I think that, I mean, we all knew that he could come in and shoot the ball. Um, he's bigger than people think. He can put the ball on the floor better than people think. Uh, now he's defending at a level uh, that's making our team better. Um, but that comes from in that gym every day of practice when you got 12 guys that are able to be put on the floor and you have to compete or you're going to get embarrassed. And uh, it's making him better and it's making the guys that he's defending better. And uh, they have their work cut out for when they have to guard him as well. Uh, it's made our team better. And uh, that we know that when Tyler and Devin go in the game, that they pick it up defensively. Um, and when they don't, they don't play. So, um, you know, we're going to hang our hat defensively. And these kids know that. And because um, they sure want to be out in the court and they have to do it on that end of the floor for us. How much better is the perimeter defense when you have three uh, perimeter players out there rather than, say, Trey at, at the small forward? Um, I don't think there's a, whole, a big difference. Um, you know, right now, you know, when we play nine guys, you, you have three. Trey Lyles can guard the perimeter. Um, it's harder for him to do so because he's 6'10". Um, I think that we are much more effective defensively when we can switch a lot and we demand ball pressure a lot from our guys, and they know that. And uh, when you think back of our better defensive efforts over the last, not only this season, but over the past, it's when we can switch and when our bigs can guard a guard. Uh, Dakari proved that last game and, and played very well on ball screen defense because he bent down and played low to the ground and, you know, and he took it as a challenge. You could see that in the game and it made us happy from the bench seeing how he you know, guarded the ball. Booker shooting 76% from three the last seven games. Not bad. Can you recall a, a 
a guy being on a, on a street that's extended this long that this, this hot? It's, I mean, one, he's, he's not forcing shots. Um, he's a terrific shooter. He's playing within himself. The players that are on the court with him know that when he gets it going, to try to feed him. Um, I can't think of the last bad shot that he's taken. Um, and that's a credit to the, the other guys on the floor to create a shot for him. And, uh, you know, if he's in that zone, he's, he's as good as anybody in the country is shooting the ball. How unusual is that uh, for a guy who's uh, hot and shooting well not to have a heat check, as they say? Which is, you know. I mean, it's just it's a, it's a, it's a confidence thing. And, and he, he has that going. But it's, again, it, he's been in that gym every day. And, uh, and he's, you know, he's getting rewarded by it. And our team is – and. Uh, um, when you put in that work, you know, you're going to see results, and, and that's what he's doing. Well, Don, there was a lot of talk before the Missouri game about getting back to defense and emphasizing that, and obviously you guys have seen the fruits of that the last two games. What, what have you done the last two games that maybe you, you didn't do in the first two conference games defensively? Better, better ball pressure, for one. Um, we've done a much better uh, job communicating when we do switch, uh, there, so there weren't any breakdowns with that. Our transition defense was better. Um, you know, we picked up the ball earlier and, and sprinted back much better. And you know, I think that when you have a combination of that, uh, we rebound the ball better, so it's less possessions for the other team. Um, and with our size, it, it makes us better. And, I, and it's a mindset for our guys too. And uh, I've heard them say that you know, uh, you got to get back to it. And um, you know, every day in practice is competitive. And uh, it's something that we work on a lot. And that's one thing that with, with Coach is that his teams are always really solid defensive teams. Um, and we, you know, he's probably thought of as an offensive coach, but boy, his numbers don't lie when you get there defensively. And, uh, and, and this, is a, this is a group that has a great mindset right now on uh, really locked in defensively. How proud are you that you know, the Central Region State, but I guess they learned their lesson I don't think they learned a lesson. I mean, it, I'd rather learn a lesson with a win than, than the alternative. But um, I think what they, instead of a lesson, I think that they found out that SEC play, any league play, is much tougher. Um, all opponents can see you, what, 13, 14 times. They're going to get a better, you know. And they're good coaches in this league, and there's good players in this league. Um, you know, but they, they they found it within themselves of what they have to do. And especially when you play on the road, because um, these kids have been in big games all year against, you know, uh, really good teams. And, you know, the sellout crowd at Alabama was great, and our guys, you know, didn't, didn't back down and, you know, proud of them for a road win. Is tomorrow night one of those games they can learn a lesson in if they don't if they take Vandy lightly? For they're not, they're not going to take anybody lightly. I mean, we would never let that happen um, as coaches. Uh, we don't take anybody lightly. Um, again, like I just mentioned, Vanderbilt has really good players. They're a young team. They have a really good coach that's proven. Um, and any time you have a chance not only to, to play against Kentucky, but to play in Rupp Arena, and now you're playing against one of the better teams in, in the nation, you're going to get every team's best shot, no matter who you are. One more thing about the three guys on the perimeter. Uh -huh. For, are we on offense? For your bigs, yes, on offense. Well, it, it does. I mean, we got back to being able to post the ball. Um, you know, just coach, we, whether that they were in man or zone, we thought that they would play a majority of their, their tandem zone. Um, and we got back to playing inside out. And because uh, a lot of good things happen. I mean, with our size inside, if our bigs will demand the ball, catch the ball, and uh, if the lane's clogged, they're, they're, you know, they're taught to kick it out and, and the perimeter guys be ready. And uh, we made the extra pass a lot. Uh, we made the game easier for one another uh, on Saturday. And that's the way that the coach wants these guys to play. A couple more. Now you're 17-0, and 0, you're number one in the country. As a staff, how much is your emphasis on making sure that they don't get complacent with that? that, uh, that, that uh, that'll never happen.
I mean, it just, it just won't. I mean, I've been with Coach for a long, long time. Um, we approach every game the same exact way. We don't, we don't, it doesn't matter if it's a, an exhibition game or if it's the last game of the year. And uh, there's no superstition about it. We prepare for, everything's the same. And uh, now things will, you know, change depending on the opponent and what we have to work on specifically. Um, we hit the key areas, but then Cal has always been, he's worried about his team. And uh, we don't inundate them with film or, you know, walkthroughs. Uh, we hit specific things. And then when it's time to get ready for the opponent, it already clicked in that we've already worked on that. So complacency is not an issue with the staff or the team. How far does this thing have to get down the road before you set it as an open goal? Let's, let's try to make history here. That was a silly question. On the table. <laughs> um, you know what? Um, you know, you, you hear about it, you see it, you read it. Um, I haven't heard any talk about it within the locker room or the coaching staff at all. Um, we just want to get better. And uh, I think we're doing that. Uh, regardless of, you know, the overtime games, you know, you had two really well played games and Ole Miss has proven that they're a really good team. Um, and Texas A&M, the same thing going on the road and winning at LSU. Um, you know, we're just, we're taking everything week by week. It's a two game week from here on out and uh, just to get ready for Vanderbilt. Last question. I, I was going to ask you, John, about so Derek said the, the advice he gets from you guys, the coaches and family and everybody he consults with is get in the gym, do more. I'm assuming his teammates are getting in the gym and doing more. So how do you make headway when everybody's ahead of you is, is putting in the extra yeah. work too? And put in more time. I mean, if you feel like you're behind, you know, you just, you just got to get in there. And, uh, you know, um, he knows what it takes for him to get better. Um, we're proud of the fact that our guys are putting in that extra time because you're seeing the results, as I mentioned earlier. Um, you know, it's still, I mean, we still have a long ways to go in this season, and uh, we hope to be playing for a long time. Um, Dominique was ready. Uh, I'm sure Derek saw that, and it was glad to see him get into to a game that uh, he got in early and uh, did some good things. And uh, you know, we're not going to give up on any player, and he hasn't given up, that's for sure.